What's up guys? It's your boy and his partner. Check out the partner. So today, it's almost 11.42. The partner's wide awake and the boy has got some stuff on his mind. So I get this question a lot um, and you guys, if you go on Facebook, you hear and see that you can do this. But unfortunately, most people, A, don't know how it works, and B, does not know the truth of the nature of the matter. So, what am I talking about? Always talking that gibberish, that blah, 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 that blah, blah, blah. Or am I? I don't know nothing. Nada. No, but for real. Let's talk about derating a trailer. Can you derate a trailer? How do you derate a trailer? And why do you derate a trailer? Okay, so first question is, can you derate a trailer? The answer is yes and no. I'll explain later. Why would you derate a trailer? The only reason in the world, the world, to derate a trailer is if you do not have a CDL license. That's the only reason to derate it. So, what does de sorry? What does derating it mean? Derating a trailer means that you take a trailer that is capable and should be rated for 18,000 pounds and you derate it for 10 or 12,000 pounds. Because if you had the proper GBWR plate on that trailer, you couldn't drive it. And there's a lot of people that are misunderstood and misinformed about this. So, you can derate a brand new trailer. But what you have to do is you have to tell the factory what you're going to be running it with. Like what you need it um, GVWR or rated at. And there's only two companies that I know of that will derate you after it's already been sold. Most freight trailers cannot be re or derated. They cannot be because they, they just won't do it. Um, and they say it's a liability purpose, but I don't understand that because if I have a trailer that's right now rated for 25,000 pounds, right? And I want to rate that trailer for 12,000, that seems like a favorable liability issue rather than a true negative issue but they just won't your load max your pjs your big tax i don't know about diamond c i don't think so but don't hold me to that um most of them just won't and, and i think it's for the the fact of the liability is they don't know what shape that trailer's in so, let's say that trailer has a weld issue or a frame issue, and they are saying they're giving you a new bin. Now, this is opinion and speculation. Right now, this is opinion. So, in order to do your re-rate, I would think they're supposed to see the trailer, I believe. But not everybody does that. But if they say they've seen it, 
And now there's a lot of people that believe your GVWR is your max um, weight that that trailer is capable of. Now think about what we're talking about right now. We are talking about a trailer that is made on my truck that today is carrying 20,000 pounds legally rated vind up legal for 20,000 pounds safely now tomorrow when I derated to 14 you're going to tell me that this trailer can no longer safely carry 14,000 pounds that is why in the rules and regulations you will not find GVWR cannot be exceeded if you find that please 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 holla at your boy tell me and I will put you out there and bow down because I can't find it neither can my regulation mentor neither can my mentor we can't find oh. Oh. can't find it it's not there GBWR is not a legal number. So, I guess that's how Take 3 and Kaufman are able to do it. But, unfortunately, it allows people on the road that should not be on the roads. And, we are going to screw it up for ourselves. We are single-handedly as non-CDL owner operators destroying the non-CDL market because they let anybody do it anybody do it your 16 year old son can do it in state think about that they may not have a license today but they can haul cars like me tomorrow with zero training. So, even though I started with this, the wedge, I started with the non-CDL, I, I started with all that. And I still say that's okay to a point. Um, but even when I was doing it, I said it should not be legal. But it was legal, so I did it, you know. Um, I think, personally, I think there should be a Class W license for a wedge trailer. And you must know how to load a wedge trailer. I think there should be 10 vehicles lined up, cars, trucks, SUVs, and you have to load them cars five different ways safely and distribute your weight safely that's what matters not your GVWR how you distribute that weight safely and that's what a lot of people A. don't know how to do B. don't care or C. they're lazy so then that would make D, B, and C together. They're lazy and just don't care. That's why they roll over. That's why the under 32,000 pound weight class in insurance is through the roof. That's why United Roads will not let you on with a gooseneck. Because they believe it's a gooseneck problem. No, it's not a gooseneck problem. Fifth wheels can roll over too. Semis roll over, you know, so let's blame it on something that it's not. That's cool. But, so guys, you can derate your trailer to run non-CDL under 26,001 pounds. You can do that with a brand new trailer as long as you tell them before you buy it. 
or you can do that with any car hauler, take three, or um, Kaufman. And I don't mean any car hauler, I mean any of those two car haulers. They are not going to rate my trailer at 14,000 pounds. They're not going to do it. So, that's the info on derating and re-rating and how to run non-CDO. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I am watching the market shift. Three car wedges are more on the marketplace than they are on the road anymore. Because the, the non-CDL boom is over. Now we're just like any other truck on the road. We've ruined the niche of a hot shot. We've ruined the niche of a hot shot car hauler. And we've done that by running regular freight at cheap rates just to work. I get it. You got bills to pay. But you grow in the market. So now you might want to consider a bigger trailer and a bigger semi. And I'm going to be honest with you. This trailer would never be behind a one ton with me behind the wheel. So I hope you guys learned something about out of this. Um, I am taking suggestions on videos. If you all have questions, hotshotwedge at gmail. If I don't answer your question, don't be alarmed. It may be videoed. So, and if you would like, and you send me a recommendation, please put in the video if you would like a shout out. I will shout you out if you want it. If you don't want it, I won't do it. But, if you want to get the shout out on the Hot Shot Dave Network, I'm out. So, that's that guys. It's 12 o'clock. I got to go to bed. Cause I gotta get up early, manana. So, you guys to do me a favor. If you like it, like it. If you want to share it, share it. But make sure you hit that ding ding while you're subscribed. So, like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Peace, 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 peace.